we finish our quality control, we're ready to do our patients. When we do our patients, they will always be marked with the name, the age, the sex, and an ID number. Be sure to record all of this on your requisition sheet before you begin to do your urinalysis. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cindy, Logan, her ID number is 456151, her sex is female, her age is 20 years. Now we are ready to read our urine color. If we look at the urine color, we can see that this, we may have to remove the label a little bit so we can see it. This is a pale yellow or a straw. We could call it either one. And we will write the color. We can tell that it is clear because we can read through it. So we will write down clear. We will perform the specific gravity with the refractometer, but we're going to go ahead and do the dipstick now. Remember the first thing we need to do before we do, a, do the dipstick is we must mix the urine so that all the constituents are throughout the, the uh, liquid. We're going to remove the top. We want to get a dipstick out. Again, get one out, and we always close the top. We're going to take the dipstick just like we did with our quality control sticks. We're going to dip it quickly into the urine, straight out, along the edge, and then we want to blot it on the Kim White to be sure that we get rid of all the excess fluid. Then again, we're going to note the time. We're going to wait one minute, and then we're going to read our results. So we have to wait. It has been one minute, and I want to reiterate that timing on these chemical strips are critical. So we want to come over here with our pH. Again, we don't read specific gravity. And you can see this pH is 8. We can see that our leukocytes have to wait two minutes, so, well, actually 60 to 120. If it's negative, we definitely want to wait the full 120. The nitrite is negative. The protein is negative. The glucose is negative. The ketone is negative. The urobilinogen is normal. The bilirubin is normal. And look, do you see there's blood? I would say that that is one plus blood because it matches this color more than anything else. So we don't differentiate from hemoglobin to red cells, so we simply call it one plus blood. And then we write down our results. pH would be eight. Nitrites would be negative. Protein negative. Glucose, well, actually, we write that as normal because there's always a little glucose. Ketones are negative. Urobiologen, normal. Bilirubin, negative. And one plus blood. We come back and read our leukocytes, and we can see now that the leukocytes are negative. And your urine top is done except for your refractometer. Again, we're going to throw the stick and our biohazard, and we have completed a dipstick. Well, a couple of things that I want you to remember is that timing is definitely critical. We do not touch the pads with our fingers. We always close the lid. We always hold the strip horizontally to read, because if we read like this vertically, the chemicals will run from one pad to another and give us erroneous results. So always read horizontally. And that is how you perform a urine dipstick, and I wish you all good luck in the lab.